Now, if you want to turn a photo into a sketch, you don't need to be an artist or have any of those skills because with the help of Photoshop and some filters, you can do it super easily. So in this particular project, I have my image layer and then I also have a paper texture that we're going to use at the end of this lesson. You can find this same paper texture in the description below. It is totally free. Now to begin, we want to first convert our image layer into a smart object by right clicking on that layer and going to convert to smart object. Now we want to duplicate this layer by pressing command or control J and I'll rename this duplicated layer to lines. Now we need to add a couple of different adjustments to this layer. The first is that we're going to invert the layer and all of the colors on it by just pressing command or control I while that layer is selected. Now we have this crazy spooky looking image, but we're going to kind of hide it by changing the layer blending mode down here to color dodge. Now your photo might look completely white. Mine has a little bit of colors around, but we can ignore that for now. The next adjustment we need to add is a Gaussian blur, which is going to allow us to basically add some details or some visibility around all of the lines in our photo. So going up to filter and down here to blur, and then Gaussian blur, I'll go and set a radius of something between two to four pixels, but you can always go back and change this later. I'll click OK. Now, since a drawing is supposed to be black and white, I'm going to create a new black and white adjustment layer by going to the adjustments panel and going to the black and white adjustment layer. I'm not going to touch any of the settings, but the next thing I'll do is click back on my lines layer and we'll create a levels adjustment so that we can refine the contrast of these lines. Going back to the adjustments panel while the lines layer is active, I'll click on the levels adjustment. And to add some contrast, we can just increase the black point like so to make those lines darker or hide any of the grain or things by increasing the highlights as you would like. I'm going to leave my adjustments somewhere like this. It's going to be totally different for your photo. So do whatever looks best for you. Now, obviously this is kind of looking sketch like, but we're missing a lot of important details. We don't really have any textures within the lines and it still looks kind of clunky and amateurish. So let's go and add some extra filtering adjustments, but we want to be able to control all of these adjustments separately. Therefore, we're going to create three duplications of our original image and apply different filters to each of them. That might sound complicated, but stick with me. It's going to be super simple. So to begin, I'll go back to my image layer that's already a smart object, and I'll duplicate it by pressing command or control J. I'm now going to move this duplicated image layer above my levels adjustment, but below my black and white adjustment. So it's between those two. Now I'm going to duplicate this image layer two more times by pressing command or control J once and then twice. To keep everything organized, I'm going to rename all of these layers based on the filter that I'm about to apply. So I'll call the bottom layer sketch lines, the second layer to glowing edges, and the final layer to charcoal. I'll now disable the layer visibility of the topmost layers and I'll click on the sketch lines layer. On this layer, we're going to create some sketch lines with our filter gallery. So while that layer is selected, I'll go up to filter and down here to filter gallery. Within the sketch group, we want to go and choose the graphic pen. And for this image, I'll set my stroke length to 13, but you can play around with it as you would like. I'll click OK. And now that is applied on that layer. Obviously, this doesn't look very good and all of our lines are actually white. So we want the opposite of that, which we can do by inverting this layer. While the sketch lines layer is selected, I'll press Command or Control I to invert it. And then to blend it in with the layers beneath, I'll change the layer blending mode to multiply. This will make the white and gray areas more transparent, while the black will still be visible, therefore giving us those sketch lines. Since this looks a little bit overkill, I'm also going to reduce the layer opacity of the sketch lines layer, I'll bring this down to about 60%. Now we'll go to the glowing edges layer, turn on the layer visibility, and once again go to our filter gallery by going to filter, filter gallery, and then within the groups here, we'll go to stylize and glowing edges. For my image, I'll choose one for the edge width, 16 for the brightness, and 12 for the smoothness, and click OK. Once again, we have a similar problem to before. We want the opposite of what we see, so I'll press Command or Control I on my image layer, and then change the layer blending mode to multiply to blend that adjustment with the underlying layers. Since this makes the freckles on her nose look a little bit too intense, I'll add a layer mask to this layer, activate my my brush tool by pressing B and with my foreground color set to black I can just paint over the freckles here that seem a little too intense 
to remove that effect. But essentially what this layer does is adds a little bit of emphasis on the lines around the image. Next, we can go and enable our charcoal layer and click on it. And once again, go back to our filter galleries by going to filter, filter gallery, and now we're going to go into the sketch group and add a charcoal adjustment. I'll set the charcoal thickness to three, detail to four, and the light balance untouched. I'll click OK. And once again, we'll press Command or Control I to invert that adjustment. This already looks a little more charcoal y, but we'll blend it in with the underlying layers by changing the charcoal layer blending mode to multiply, and then reduce the opacity of this layer so it blends in with the underlying effects a bit better. Now our sketch effect is nearly complete, but it's now time to blend it in with that underlying paper texture and make everything pop a bit more. To blend everything in really quickly, I'll click on the charcoal layer, scroll down and hold the shift key, click on the bottom most image layer, and then press command or control G to group everything. So now everything related to my sketch layers are in one group, excluding the black and white adjustment and the paper texture. Now with that group selected, I'll change the blending mode down here to multiply so that the white of the group is invisible and therefore we see the underlying paper texture. But since this makes the photo look a little flat, I'll add a levels adjustment above the group and then increase the contrast like so to make our photo pop a little bit more and finalize our sketch effect. And now with our effect complete, looking at our before and after using some simple filter effects inside of Photoshop, we could convert this image into a sketch. Now, if all of this stuff is going to be hard to remember for you, I created a free lesson cheat sheet breaking down all of these steps and filter settings that we discussed here down in the description below. It's totally free and it's a super easy reference guide for you to follow if you want to create this effect in the future. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and with that, I'll catch you back here next time.